What's up, YouTube? We're gonna watch a death battle. I apologize for the terrible lighting, but the episode went up late, and it's nighttime, everyone's asleep, so I still have to be quieter than usual, but not too quiet, so that's okay, I guess. All right. We're gonna start uh, Sam Solid Snake versus Sam Fisher. I am really hyped for this episode. I don't know Sam Fisher, but I know Snake very well. I haven't played any of the Metal Gear games, but I have watched several Let's Plays of each of the games. So, I spectated the Metal Gear games. I didn't play them, though. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. Three, two, one, go! This especially stealthy episode of Death Battle was made possible thanks to the upcoming action comedy film Spy from 20th Century Fox. Spy. Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Rose Byrne, and Jude Law. It's coming hmm. to theaters June 5th, and if you enjoy this episode, should I go you see that? I go don't know. Out. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe I will see it. Hold on, let me move my microphone closer. But I don't. And that should be close enough. By the way, um, I know Christopher Sabat will be voicing Snake here, but. I didn't watch the video because I didn't want to be spoiled in case they showed part of the battle. But whatever. Is it going to be CGI? Like the rest of them? Or, not the rest of them. The, uh, superhero ones, like Deadpool and Iron Man, whatever. Why? Because he was cloned from him. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen, this origin's a doozy. As a secret mm -hmm. government project, David was created using eggs donated by a Japanese scientist and grown in the womb of a femme fatale spy along with seven other would-be brothers. She was almost the original Octomon, except they <laughs> scrambled six of them to somehow empower the remaining two. According well, man. To prophecy, one of these twins would bring ruin to the world, while the other would save it. So that kind of works out. Mm -hmm. to be a soldier, he joined the Green Berets Don't know why there was a reason to worry if one of them was going to save the world anyways. The high-tech black ops group called Foxhound. Here, his deadly stealth techniques earned him his legendary code name, Solid Snake. Snake. Colonel, this is Snake. Ah, Metal Gear. Big Boss. But on his very first mission for Foxhound, war itself changed. After infiltrating the military <laughs> to rescue a fellow agent, Snake also going back and watching these, I realized that my lips don't move at all when I talk, which is creepy. It's like it was I'm a talking Metal Gear. something, something that doesn't move when it talks. So I'm gonna try and move my mouth more. Whoa, does this look natural for you? Since he had single-handedly destroyed a walking nuke shooter and the greatest soldier who ever lived, Snake uh. became the next soldier of legend. Anytime a new Metal Gear showed up, Snake was pulled back into the fray. When all he really wanted to do was get drunk in Alaska and dog sled race with his 50 huskies. Talk about living the dream. <laughs> yeah, General, the huskies are adorable. In the world. When did you become a dog musher? Turns out Mush. Mush. Even after Snake burned him alive with nothing but a lighter and a can of hairspray. History's greatest soldier ever. <laughs> these Metal Gears kept showing up. Soon Snake was an expert at destroying these robotic behemoths. He even piloted a Metal Gear to destroy another Metal Gear that was designed to kill Metal Gears. <laughs> oh. But Snake did not Metal Gear Seption icon of stealth by going in guns blazing. Although he knows how to use almost any weapon he finds, he keeps his load light by entering missions with only the bare essentials. Snake carries a Ruger Mark mm. II pistol with tranquilizer darts. Perfect for silent takedowns. <laughs> but if he wants to get lethal, he whips out his 1911 operator, one of my favorite handguns ever. And he's got a stun knife, which is like if a taser and a knife had a baby. All three of which he incorporates into his specialized fighting style, CQC. A brutal mix of hand-to-hand -hand combat and gunplay taught to him by Big Boss himself. Nice. To remain unseen, these weapons wouldn't do Snake much good without other tools to keep him hidden from his enemies. Snake's outfitted with his Octo Camo, a smart camouflage which can match the color, texture, and temperature of Snake's surroundings. Not even the Gecko Bots with their infrared and night vision tracking can find Snake in this camo. Plus, he's always aware of his surroundings thanks to his high-tech eye patch, the Solid Eye. He's not actually 
missing an eye. Fancy. More like a monocle from the future with infrared, night vision, and radar. Snake's also been injected with nanomachines, which energizes his body and his codec, an internal radio system. The codec allows two-way communication, which is 100% silent, almost like telepathy. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Silence beats talk when it comes to safety. I wonder if that'll come into play in the battle, because it says no outside help, so Being how can you talk to, like, Otacon or something? Is his best friend, Otacon. A pathetic ah, speaking of Otacon. Horrible bladder control. But he's also really good at hacking computer systems, so I guess he gets by. <laughs> enough time, and Otacon can hack into any top-secret facility. Apart from Big Boss, Snake has defeated cybernetic ninjas, psychics, his own twin, and of course several giant Metal Gears. He can wield a railgun as powerful as a tank with his bare hands. Woo! And once blew up an actual tank using nothing but a couple of grenades. And once he powered through a sealed hallway while being bombarded with microwaves and survived. Who throws microwaves at people? Come on! <laughs> no boomstick, it's more like he was inside a giant microwave. My god, think of the size of a hot pocket you could make <laughs> under the effect Boost. of microwaves. A normal man's skin would deteriorate within two to three seconds. Snake lasted more than three minutes. And any guy that can last three minutes is a goddamn stallion. Now I know <laughs> call him solid. Then I guess but I'm a stallion. Tough, <laughs> though he's hardly perfect. His octo camo provides only light protection against knives and other weapons. And even though he's in peak physical condition, one well placed bullet Sorry, will ladies. as easily as I'm any taken. other man. Yeah. Also, cloning and nanomachines don't mix. By the time he was 35 years old, they caused Snake to begin aging rapidly and even suffer heart issues oh. and seizures. Old and wrinkly or not, you can count on. He's probably gonna have a seizure in the middle of a fight. Single mission through, and be a badass the whole time. There's a reason he's known as the man who makes the impossible possible. Never will be. Ah, oh, the music. Ah, oh, the music. You haven't changed at all. Ah, uh, please no. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Samuel Leo Fisher was born in Towson, Maryland, in 1987. Uh. Whoa, he's older than I thought. Orphaned at a young age, he spent his youth at a military boarding school. His goal was to join the CIA and follow in the footsteps of his mm -hmm. late father. Sam's career in government work was an impressive one, joining both the CIA and the Navy SEALs. During this time, he found he had a particular... I know nothing about this guy. And ladies. See, on one of his missions, he fired off a few rounds into the wrong target and knocked her up. So he married her. They had a daughter named Sarah. Well, and at least he married her. Happily ever after. Instead of left. No, wait. He got divorced after three years and his ex died of ovarian cancer. Left with no other family oh. but his daughter, Sam retired at just 47 years old. Okay. This time, he'd spend the rest of his days in peace. <laughs> oh, as if. We all know how it goes. <laughs> Sam was too good to leave the agent's life forever, and was recruited by Third Echelon, a top-secret sub-branch of the NSA. Third Echelon wanted Sam for their new Black Ops unit, focused on infiltrating impenetrable locations, extracting information, and escaping even the most impossible scenarios. They called it the Splinter Cell Program. Oh yeah, let me go. Boom, Q title screen. Woo! The impossible. Talk, but talk quietly. I'll tell you anything. I'm the biggest coward you've ever met. That's quite a claim. I've already wet myself. Well, then you made the top ten. <laughs> well, luckily, like other agents of stealth, Sam Fisher didn't have to work alone. His support comes from Anna Grimm's daughter, or Grimm, who communicates with Sam through subdermal implants in his ear. Ew! It's just a tiny earpiece which operates by directly vibrating the bones of his inner ear, so only Sam can hear her. So she's hmm. vibrating his bones, eh? What is with you today? <laughs> is a world-class hacker started as Third Echelon's lead programmer, and might be aging backwards, but that's irrelevant. Together, they are a formidable team. Although Sam and Grimm have very different approaches to a mission and can sometimes butt heads. While Grimm is very by the books, Fisher prefers to follow He just insects. got slapped. For better or worse, he will completely abandon a well-laid plan over a mere hunch. Surprisingly, this works out better than you'd think. See? You don't always have to plan out every little detail. 
detail about every little thing. I thought we agreed to never discuss that trip. I just wanted a churro, but no, it wasn't in the schedule. <laughs> I bet it was delicious. Oh, shut up, Boomstick. I'll kill you. Grim directs Sam's movements. <laughs> they have to do a Wiz versus Boomstick death battle now. They have to. They just have to. A diffusing black armor that's layered with Kevlar and Rhino plate to help protect against bullets. Along with a layer of Gore-Tex, a material that suppresses his heat signature to make him invisible to night vision. Speaking of night vision, Sam has that. And more! His multi-vision goggles come equipped with thermal vision, sonar, a zoom function, and even footprint tracking to ensure that Fisher can see you even if you can't see him. Ooh. In fact, he's so stealthy that while he can track footprints left behind by others, his own trail is completely undetectable. <sighs> even by him, I'd say that he's the stealthiest man mm. ever if it weren't for the three giant green lights coming off his head. Come on, dude. Common misconception. As obvious as they may appear, those lights are actually invisible to a normal human eye. Really? How? It's too bad for his enemies because Sam excels at How? efficiently. While lurking Whatever. in the shadows, he takes aim with his favorite pistol, the semi-automatic 5.7, a compact firearm that's perfect for silent quick kills. And if someone manages to spot him, unlikely as it may be, Fisher is more than prepared to take them head on with his SC-20K modular assault weapon system. This butte is like the Swiss Army knife of guns. It has an assault rifle mode, shotgun mode, sniper rifle. Oh, she can be whatever you want her to be. <laughs> um, boomstick. What? Yeah, um, as versatile as she is, that's not <sighs> the amount of things she fires. Aside from bullets, the 20K can launch gas and EMP grenades, sticky shockers, rubber bullets, and even cameras which attach to the wall. After their titanium spikes anchor them in place, Fisher can use his built-in communications device, the OPSAT, to monitor them. These cameras have night, thermal, and electromagnetic field vision. Sam's got so many ways to take on his opponents, it's hard to count all the impressive stuff he's done. He's carried out more than a dozen missions. When all Liam Neeson and yep, he doesn't. He definitely sounds interesting. He's even infiltrated the CIA itself, which probably isn't easy. He has single-handedly prevented a Chinese invasion of Taiwan, foil terrorist plans to destroy the world's oil supply, all of it. And when he discovered that Third Echelon was corrupt from within, he took it down by teaming up with Grimm to create Fourth Echelon. In combat, he's insanely fast and accurate on the quick draw. Even when surrounded, he can put four bullets in four skulls in 3.2 seconds. He can literally take a life in the blink of an eye. Despite his age, nature hasn't slowed Sam down at all. I don't know about you, but I'll be thinking twice before stepping into any shadows. Fisher, it's starting to look like war is unavoidable. JCOS is asking all sources for current division level intelligence. So, besides stopping World War Three, is there anything else I can do for you this evening? All right. All right. The All right. Set. Let's end this debate once and I've been right so far, and I'm choosing Snake. I gotta go with Snake. I'm too biased. I have to go with him. Snake. 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 I've been right every time so far. So please don't let this time be different. There he is. <laughs> okay, Snake, I've finished uploading the building schematics to your solid eye. The intel we need is inside. Should be a piece of cake, but <laughs> there's one heat signature inside. Just one? Yeah, maybe everyone's out for a late night dinner. Thanks, Otacon. Piece of cake. There's Sam, the guy whom I know nothing about. We haven't had the chopper plan, have we? No, the paladin is your evac plan. Why? Hmm. We've got a party crasher. Your new friend won't last long. There's only one way into that room. Don't lecture me. He's mine. Oh, 
That music though. Wouldn't you like to know? Ooh, run snake. Woo! Move it, dude. Grim, did you get that? Sam, are you alright? I'm fine. He's after the data. Just our luck. I'll bring the plane in for you. Don't. This guy's gonna be a problem if I don't take care of him now. But it's more important that... No. Trust me, Grim. <laughs> I'm not alone. Somebody beat me to the intel and destroyed the source. Think he's with Praying Mantis? Raven Sword? If they're operating out here, mm -hmm. possibly be anyone we're familiar with. I'll start scanning radio frequencies to see if I can find any comm lines. But Snake, until we know what you're up against, I suggest you keep yourself out of sight. I've already got it covered. Please tell me it's not a cardboard box. <laughs> Do I need to go over this again? It is. A cardboard box is a very important <gasps> SGC. It's ideal for fooling the enemy. It ain't personal, it's just the only way I still can make a grand. Understand what I'm talking about? Get the picture of what this all about? It's time for you to walk it out. You don't want to be around when these dogs start walking out. You don't want to play the target. Snake, this is insane. Otacon, I'm not exaggerating when I say the success of my mission hinges on how I use this cardboard box. <laughs> a cardboard box. Is only made of paper. I need to snap his neck right there. Come on, Snake. Get him. Get him. Otacon, I've got the intel. No, 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 this is too I'm freaking out more than I did with Gara versus Toph. What is that? I don't know. Somebody's interfering. Hello? Is this Norman? Who is this? Identify yourself. I'm Otacon. Unimpressed. Your security's pretty state of the art. It's not good enough. Sorry. What? How long have you yes, been Yes, Otacon. Long yeah. Long. But right now, Miss Grimm, I've got to shut you down. Yes. Ah! yes. Sam. Sam. Yes. Do you copy? Oh god! Yes! Yes! Go on a con! Go! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Come on. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Snake? Oh! Snake? Oh no! Oh no! This is seriously the most intense fight ever. Looks like they're going in fisticuffs. No weapons. Oh, they have knives. Whatever. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've taken more than that, Snake. Come on. Again, baby.
piece of cake. Both Snake and Fisher were experts in their field. Snake may come second to Fisher. Oh, that was intense. Assassination, but he far exceeds him in close quarters combat thanks to his specialized training. Even though Snake is a master of blending into the shadows, Snake Good work, Otto Khan. No trouble tracking him down. What's more, Grimm's comm line has a history of being hacked into, while Snake's codec does not. Mm -hmm. What about Snake's nanomachines and solid eye? Wouldn't they be disabled by the EMP blast? Actually, no. EMPs are comparable to microwaves in how they affect electronics. When Snake was bombarded mm -hmm. by microwaves, his solid eye survived for two mm -hmm. minutes of non-stop radiation, while his nanomachines remained intact throughout the entire experience. Mm -hmm. A single EMP grenade doesn't quite stack up to a hallway of microwaves. Mm -hmm. Even if he did lose his nanomachines, mm -hmm. somehow he didn't need them to beat Sam. Overall, Snake has a counter for anything Fisher could throw at him, and had the edge in close quarters combat. Woo! victory pretty straightforward. Poor Sam. This loss just kind of snuck up on him. Yeah, from the start, it was lights out for Sam. The winner is Solid Snake. Sorry, Sammy. Next time on Who's next? Goodbye. Who's next? Darth Vader. <laughs> Uh, uh, who's he up against? Uh, Darth Vader. They gotta stop doing this. 